Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to split test your pop-up on WordPress. In the last video, I showed you how to create the pop-up, which is a content overlay that offers your free giveaway, your lead bait, when a user is looking at your blog content. This is how you turn Google visitors into subscribers quickly. But then once you get that up and running, you want to split test the wording. You might want to split test the offer. You might want to split test the layout. Today, I'm going to show you how to split test the headline, but they're all very similar in the process. It's the same process. You just choose what you split test. The goal is to identify that exact phrase, that exact headline, the exact layout, the exact offer that creates the highest conversion so you're maximizing the number of blog visitors that come to your site who get on your email list. This is how you do conversion optimization with content overlays on WordPress. So let's jump in. We're going to jump on my computer now, and I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to set that up. So we're here in the Thrive dashboard. And again, I use Thrive themes. It's all vertically integrated in Thrive themes. I don't recommend you use any third party pop up software. It will slow down your site. So to get Thrive themes, it's milesbeckler.com forward slash Thrive. You can actually click on the link that just popped up in the top right corner of this video to get access to it. Here I'm in the Thrive Leads area, which we get down under Thrive dashboard dashboard Thrive Leads, and you'll see that this is the lead group we're working with here today. I'm going to click the drop down to show what we've got, and I've got this light box. The light box is what I'm going to be working with, and that's the one I've already got created, and you can see with the green switches toggled, that one is running. So now I'm here. This is the actual light box form that's running. You can see it's converting at 7.86% right now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the purple button, which is the clone. Now I have cloned it, so I've made an exact exact copy of that pop up right there. And I want to go in and edit the design because again, I'm going to test a different opt in, right? I want to test a different headline for the opt in here. You also have the ability to create this second one from scratch, which would allow you to choose a completely different layout. Since I cloned it, I'm borrowing the layout that I already chose from the previous one. And also, I think, again, the layout, you want to test the offer. If you're testing the offer, be sure you test the offer on the exact same layout that you're using. Now that we're inside of the pop-up here, you can see it's the exact same one that I was working with last time. And what I'm going to do is I'm only going to change the headline. It's so important to change one thing. If you change the headline, the image, the subhead, and the button text, and you get a better conversion rate, you don't know which item actually generated that increased conversion rate. So we want to test one thing at a time. And often the headline is the easiest thing to test because it's the biggest kind of promise that you're putting out there. Um, and the headline is a reflection of your offer. So let me get it new headline in here real quick and then I'll show you how to set and launch the split test. Now I've got the text all dialed in at this point. You notice that this is a little high up in this box area here. There's a lot of lower space. We have all of our normal controls that you have inside of the Thrive Architect system over here on the left. This is a margins and a padding issue. So let me play with that real quick just to kind of show you how easy it is to dial it around. You can see as I edit that number, it's going to move it a little bit closer. So it's a little bit more centered. I like the look of that. I would definitely test this on both mobile and you could do a quick test on mobile here by clicking this bottom tab, you've got the desktop, the tablet and the mobile. I'll see what it looks like on mobile. It's seven steps. Da, 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 da. Perfect. Looks good on mobile to me. I'm going to flip it back over to my desktop view. Looks good on desktop. Perfect. I'm happy with this. So I'm going to click save at this point. Now, since I cloned it, it already took all of my configuration, my API tying into my autoresponder system. All of that is already tied in. You can see that it's already set up. So I really don't need to do anything with the API side. So we're done here. I've got my new headline in place and I go back to the previous screen. So now I'm going to reload this just to make sure it's got the most recent data. So now I've got two opt-in boxes that's going to pop up, right? And the first one is the original one. The second one is the newer one. Uh, I'm not going to rename them. You can definitely rename them to title them different things. If you want to keep it really clean and clear, I know what my, what my AB test is here. So I simply click on start a B test here on the bottom corner and I give it a title. And then the title after the title, I'm going to give it a little note and I'm just going to say that it was a headline test. 
Now you have the ability to set up automatic winner settings. I generally don't use this, but you, you absolutely can and you enable it. And then it says, how many minimum conversions do you want before it decides who the winner is? I'm going to switch this up to a thousand. I'm a little bit more conservative with my data. I like to have a large volume of data. Um, I think the minimum you would want to run on this would be 500 conversions. Minimum duration. I love 14 day durations. We just had mother's day yesterday and I guarantee so many niches and so many businesses saw a very odd influx of numbers, probably a lot lower numbers yesterday because everyone was focused on something different here in North America. So it's good to have two Sundays is what I'm getting at in there, which you get when you have 14 days and chance to beat the original. I'll bump this up to 98%. You can obviously run their bare standard, the, the 100, 14 and 95 if you want. Again, I'm a little bit more conservative and I have enough traffic. Then I click start test and that's it. I have now officially set up a split test. So every other visitor is going to see one of these two and eventually it'll show a graph line on here. And the graph line is going to show one color line is going to be green for the old one. One color line is going to be blue from the new one. And you're going to be able to see visually which one has a better conversion rate. And then down here, you're going to be able to see which one has a better conversion rate when you're ready. If you're like, okay, this new one completely tanked, it's not converting. I've seen, I've sent 300 visitors. They've seen it and zero have converted. You can just click stop test and choose winner. And then the little trophy is how you actually stop the test and choose the winner. But I'm going to let this one run. I want to run some data through this. I might do an update on it. I might not. I just think it's a, a worthy test. I didn't have one running. So I'm going to run a test here. And that's how I do my YouTube channel. I kind of follow along and document what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, be sure you hit the subscribe button. It should be just an overlay also on the video or it's the button below the video. If you have subscribed, click the little bell that's next to the subscribe button. That'll get you new notifications when the next videos come out um, on the end screen. I'll be sure to have the, the video display where I set up the pop up in case you haven't done that yet. If you need to get thrive, it's at milesbeckler.com forward slash thrive. I am an affiliate. The commissions do help me continue to pour time and energy into this channel to keep putting out these how to teachings. I do use thrive on all of my money sites. It's the only theme that I use and love on WordPress. It's the only theme that I recommend and be sure to subscribe. I'll get you with a new video in a couple of days. Give me a thumbs up. If you like this, any questions for me, hit me in the comments below. I'm happy to answer when I do have time. I answer as many as I can with the uh, little tiny bit of free time that I have available. And until we connect on the next video, which will come out in a couple of days, thank you. Be well, get your pop-up going, get your split test going. You'll be amazed at what happens when you start to grow your list. And then you start to email your list. You build a relationship with your list. That is how you grow the asset, the machine that runs your internet business. Thanks again for your time and I'll catch you on the next video.